Welcome back. We are here looking at the um, commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for July 2nd, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied higher today. We have broken above these uh, candlesticks here. And that basically means that we are going to go higher. Tech indicators, MACD bullish, stochastics bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is RSI. And it's also overbought at this point. And it kind of looks like we are heading towards the 300 moving average up here at 92.85 before pulling back. So at this point, we will get significantly over, overbought and over, overstretched and run into a massive um, significant moving average here. And pullbacks at that point should be expected. So up at roughly 90, 92, 90, give or take around that area. So let's look at the at oil. Yes, oil rallied all the way up towards roughly, give or take, 75.69. So oil is getting into a territory where we saw it absolutely collapse not very a long time ago. This was back in 2018. Infamous um, tweet from Donald Trump got this market to completely collapse. So you just see how oil has been moving, basically a V-shaped recovery and significantly more than that. And at the moment we are running into these previous highs here, and that should be significant resistant. Uh, we are also overbought at this point. We are at 71, uh, where we were a little bit higher. And technical indicators are slowly turning around. It doesn't mean that this market is going to collapse. We don't have Donald Trump in the old office anymore, with his or he doesn't even really have a tweet account anymore. So we we'll probably won't see that effect of uh, this dropping down to the 40s. But it could drop towards support around here at the 70, uh, 72, give or take. And the 50 moving average down here at uh, 60, 68. So this won't continue forever. It can't. It will basically uh, ruin the world economy if it goes above, yeah, above 120 to 150. Go those areas back like we had back in 2008. It won't go to those uh, levels, and and therefore there will be a pullback at 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 some stage, but those pullbacks have been bought into. You can see the 50 here, bought into very uh, aggressively. And so also just getting close to the 20 exponential have also been bought into as well. But at this point, if this continues, then probably 80 will be our target uh, for basically the end of July. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas, yes, this is basically what happens when it, when you get this far outside of the Bollinger Band, you kind of collapse. And it doesn't mean that we are com completely going to collapse. There still have extreme weather conditions, but uh, we may pull back towards 3.5 and probably the worst case scenario down here at 3.36, which is the middle of the Bollinger Band and also the previous highs here. Technical indicators are still very bullish. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and RSI is flat, and we are overbought at this point. So pullbacks will mostly be bought into around the 20 exponential area and the uh, 20 simple moving average. So let's look at copper. So copper continues to struggle around the 20 exponential. It, uh, if you look at the, the weekly charts, they are looking fairly a little bit better for copper. It's found support now here at the 20 exponential in the, in the weekly chart. However, technical indicators for the weekly chart are still very, very negative. This was rallying for a full year before taking this uh, dump to the downside. But it doesn't look like there is much interest of this basically falling towards the 50 moving average or down to four. So, so we may see a stabilization in this area before continuing higher. That could be uh, 
what we're seeing here. But in the daily chart, it looks like we are going to drop towards the four um, level, which is also the previous lows here where we found massive support. And the 200 moving average will move in this direction as well. We are finding massive resistance at that 20 exponential here. So if we man don't manage to cross above that, then we are dropping lower. So let's look at gold. So finally, gold had uh, a little bit of a rally today, and we may see uh, these rally continue up towards, well, 1800, probably a little bit higher, 1812. And uh, if we get rejected there, then we are going to drop significantly lower. If the US dollar continues to appreciate and, and, and the treasury bonds also start to appreciate, then that will work aggressively against uh, gold, and this will tumble towards these double, this double bottom. Uh, bottom here and will probably drop to 1600 and probably also 1500 in the long run we were significantly oversold so a pullback was expected here even though we are far away from the bottom of the bullish band but we are seeing the 20 exponential racing down and also the 200 moving out racing down so if we were to rally here then probably 1800 is going to be where we'll find massive resistance so let's look at silver so silver is still uh, hanging around here uh, in between the 200 and the 20 exponential. And as long as that is the case, uh, we are not going anywhere. Uh, technical indicators are all over the place. So we need to break below here or break to the upside. Due to the fact that we have basically stabilized here and the 200 moving average has, has proven to be an area of support, then it's uh, probably more likely that will rally towards the upside. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum did rally up towards the 20 exponential and then gave most of those gains back. So yes, uh, we have been rallying up towards the 20 and then we just seen lower lows and lower lows. And at the moment, we're kind of see the 20 moving in this direction towards the 200 moving average. So is the 50 and uh, break below here will probably uh, open the door back towards the 300 moving average around. so so um it is very risky at this point to buy into this it is probably going to be sold into the closer that we get towards the 20 expansion technically indicators are fairly all over the place at this point so let's look at pallium so pallium ran into resistance at the 250 moving average which was fairly expected and uh, at this moment, we could see this tumble back towards the 200 moving average. We could, this used to trade between 2.5 and the lows of roughly 2.1. So for a very, very, very long time. So we could see this going sideways for the foreseeable future. That is a possibility. Not saying that is going to happen, but, but it is possible that to occur. And in that scenario, we could see this drop back towards the 200 moving average of roughly 2.5. Technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CGI is still in bullish territory, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium ran into massive resistance here and then broke down. And at this point, it looks like we're going to find support back at around 2.2444. And the bottom here at the 23.38. Technical indicators are all turning around, but still, MACD is bullish. Stochastic is still bullish territory, but they're all turning around, becoming uh, and looking very negative indeed. So let's look at nickel. So, nickel, same thing here. We're still in a gradual uptrend. We could make out that this is still pointing towards 20,000, which probably is going to be the goal for the next few months, probably the end of August or end of September. And uh, 200 moving average moving this direction, acting as support, same goes for the 50 and the 20. And yes, as long as that is the case, then probably buying the dips will be uh, the best uh, strategy at this point. Getting closer to the 200 moving average like we did here is probably the best value for, for uh, you can get for nickel at this kind of stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar did rally all the way up towards uh, 0 
two and then created this uh, really negative candlestick. At this point, it got fairly out of hand and way outside of the Bullinger band. Uh, we were not overbought at that point, but getting this, this parabolic will always have a pullback. And at this point, if we break below the 50 moving average, we could see this dropping back towards this 0 0.1613. And that's probably the bottom of this market. So let's look at cotton. So cotton did break down very aggressively yesterday, rallied quite nicely today and gave most of those gains back. We are still in a gradual uptrend. We could make a line very similar here. That pulling back towards this line will probably see this market rally towards the upside. And that line has been very stable for a very long time. We did occasionally have this parabolical move to the upside and also this one, and then we gradually grinded lower. That is also the highs of this market. We did break above that and then fall quite significantly to the downside. That's probably the reason why we fell significantly to the downside. But the question is what will happen when we get into this corner? Will we break towards the 200 moving average or we break above here and go significantly higher? We have to break in above here. We'll probably target back to these previous highs of 0 0.9496. So let's look at Cocoa. So Cocoa, yet again, we are still in this, well, still in this downtrend. We and write it up here. The highs being roughly here, rallying up towards this resistant line will mostly get this a bit, um, basically be sold into. And uh, the bottom should be at this point around 2330. So break below here, that could open the door to 2226, and then all the way down to 2089, and so on and so on. So we are still probably going to see a back and forward until we get into this corner and then break to the downside. Technical indicators, I do all favor the downside at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat did rally up towards the 50 moving average and then gave all of those gains back. And that is uh, fairly interesting. So this was an absolutely parabolical move to the upside yesterday. We continue that rally today and then basically gave all over the way, but we did stabilize uh, just at the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are we can see the MACD is still bullish, the CASIC is bullish, GCI is bullish, and the RSI is negative at this current stage. If we were to break down from here, 200 moving average will probably be the bottom of this market. So, hope you found this helpful. You're one support channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.